guys, y'all know the vibe, but it's a girl, Keela, back with another one. My people, we on a good. Make sure you say on a good. It's been a while. I've done a motivational Tuesday, and today is the day I'm back at it again. So stay tuned and please watch the video to the end. And remember to like the video, share, comment, and subscribe, okay? So, um, today, uh, no sir, I'm nice. <laughs> anyway, today I'm not really have not much to say, I'm just there for call. Tell somebody, even myself, to keep on fight, to keep going. You get me? Because I know no not no perfect. Nobody life no perfect. We know say sometimes we have doubts and you know don't, you don't know we have got good on the night. You get me? But yeah, so let's get right into the video. Yeah, so um Alright, so who oh, no no I've been sick from you know good by now and alright I know I'm not a person who gives up easy, you get me? But being sick for all these years is no in a decent life right now, me at this age me won't give up. Like so easy, like Normally, mother just keep on fighting and all of that. And these last couple months, I felt like there is nothing left to fight for. There is no reason for me to keep on going. I just feel out of it. Like I just don't. I don't know anymore. I don't want to be sick. I don't want to feel pain. I just can't. That's how I be feeling. To be honest, and. Depression and depression have a hold for me for some reason. I don't know. I have sleepless nights. And after that, my prayer leg like, gone to the dogs. My brain no rest. Me no rest. Me no put on a smile face, chat and laugh and go like me alright. I mean, I'm not alright. Me isolate myself. Me just. I talk and you know, go like my good, but me no good. After other than the pain, it's just a constant battle. A constant battle with my mind. My mind just me just a fight with myself. You get me? I feel like there isn't any more purpose. There isn't a reason. Um, enough is enough. I am tired. I don't want to fight no more. I don't want to keep going. That's how I be feeling the last few months, to be honest with you. That's how I be feeling. I don't have the motivation. I do not want to get up. I just want to lay there and do not move. I don't want to eat. I don't want to drink, drink anything. I just want to lay there and join in my sorrow, you know? Being pitiful to myself, be feeling sorry for myself. That's how I be feeling. I'm not perfect. I am I'm nowhere near perfect. Even though I am a firm believer in Christ, I find myself lose faith and hope. That's that's the hence the reason why I wanted to give up. You get me? I can't go to church every Sunday to rat it. That not means when time things leak I don't know, I'm gonna lose the COVID and hope and faith. And that's what happened to me. I mean, I'm still a fighty. I'm not coming to consider and tell them to say, oh, um, I'm good here now. No, I'm not alright. I am not okay. If I tell you that I'm okay, I'm lying. I am not okay. I'm trying to be okay. Um, we keep on a move. Each day we get life, I'm so okay. God, I don't need me yet. Each day we wake up. I'm a system alive because I never tell the paradise in the now yet. But each day I'm be a cup. I say, oh God, I done it. Oh, I can still have a reason to carry on. Kill your can just stop so. Some people believe in me more than I believe in myself. And the thing is, I believe in some people more than I believe in me more kill ya. And I never used to stay like that, but I guess life have a way if it beat you, get me? Um, if I'm not from my mother, I'm my sister, 
and a few people in my life. I don't know, you get me? I just, I don't know. And the cars, other than that, no happiness in the day in my life. I just can't stand it. Hurt. I don't have my pain or my physically, other than sickness, I just can't stand pain. And then, no, when you search for jobs too, other than that, other than, when you search for jobs too, this mother, the interviewer, yeah, they go up like say, oh, um, I know when I'm going to sick, me being sick, me, me can't say, yo, sick, no. I have multiple interviewers telling, asking me when I was sick. So, me at the age of 24, when me, when me, me not healthy enough to work, me not healthy enough to do certain stuff what my mother wants to do, that's the reason why me I do, me look outside also. But when time people go to look on you and ask you some question like as if you wanted to just sit at home doing nothing. That's not the case, boom boo. You only make people drive insane too because if you go sit down and ask me them this Sunday and you don't know what me about to do in my brain because I see so much for myself and say, Oh, I me have one bag of sickness that's a pump down for my neck, I my neck. You go to ask me some question. Anyways, that's not the case. But anyways, guys. I don't have a lot on a plate. I am not happy. My chop in my mind. My chopped. And I wonder if I'm gonna die feeling like this. I wonder if this is how my story is going to end. But I realized that Jesus loves me. God loves me despite off because I'm not so nice you know I'm terrible with my mood like I can be very disrespectful yeah and mm, I feel to realize that God loved me and then I realize that God loved me so see me in front of the camera I realize that God loves me. So I decide to say, if you just talk, talk, and do. Even though the pain and feel do sometimes. And I realize that God really loves me because I see that that's what I last night I couldn't even lie down. I couldn't even stand up on my foot. There, so today, I thought I was going to be here and up to the bank while we do still. Just to show you, oh God, love me. Just to show you, say, you know, give up on me. So, why may I give up on myself? Why may I want to give up on me? And God loves me so much, and He just still at work. He just wrap me and roll me so. So, there is the moral of the story is my testimony, my issues here today. And I hide no there's so much to say but I choose not to say. But anybody who is listening to me right now, whether sometime in any near future, future when this get a pause of views and a lot of good stuff there when they make it. Even for 20, I don't know how I watch this right now, which nine minutes. Whatever you're going through. Sick or you know, sick. You have a child, you know, no food. You don't have no light, you don't have no water, you just don't know. You just don't know. You feel like you're just stuck on one part. You feel like there is nothing left to fight for. Remember that God loves you. Remember that each day you are weak, there is still a reason, there is purpose on your life. You are fearfully and wonderfully made, and you can do this. Tell yourself that you can do this. Keep fighting, keep going, keep the faith. Give yourself a pat on the shoulder, 
if you be so strong, a firm mind to this. If you never firm in your mind and you never strong, you wouldn't dare so today they listen to me. Keep going, keep moving, don't give up, don't make a devil make your give up. Keep going. Jesus love you, I love you. Me go on, keep going, me keep fight. Me not stop fight. So you not stop fight. There is light at the end of every dark tunnel. And just go and hold them and wait for your turn as me. Because we out here, you know. We out here and go and hold them. We are out like a G. We are wait for a free turn. It shall be well. You fight it. And if you reach this far in the video, remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend, say, come on, keep it up, keep it up. Bye, y'all. Long live Shanti.